Hi everyone and welcome to Technique Thursday. Today we're going to have fun. I've got sprays, I've got inks, I've got stamps, I've got stencils, I've got modeling paste and a bottle of water. Now what is all that going to turn out to be? Well this is going to be an adventure. The first thing I'm going to do is not the background but I'm going to do the stamping first. So I have these stamps from Carabelle. So fun. I can't wait to try them. So I'm going to start with that and I think I'm just going to do black stays on. So I've grabbed these clocks and I'm just going to ink them up. And yeah, we're going to do it a little bit backwards, but you'll see at the end why we do it that way. So I'm just going to stamp and there's really no rhyme or reason to where or what or how. Just having fun. Grab some dots. Dots are always fun. Just more black ink. How's everybody's day? What is going on today? Here in the studio, it's warm. It's sunny. It's a great day. So far, so good. The pups are being quiet. Will the pups continue to be quiet? I don't know, but we'll find out. So stamp, 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 stamp. This is going to be a really fun page. A technique that I've been dying to try. So should we do some big circles? Sure, why not, right? I haven't used these yet. So excited. If it will open, which one should we use? The big one or this one? This is kind of cool. I kind of like this stuff. See if we can get it out. Come on. There we go. I probably shouldn't be stamping right on my page because I'm going to drop that ink. I just know it. Let's put that there. And I'm not using a stamp block because I don't really care if parts of the stamp are missing. That's kind of the fun part of this whole thing. And then you can use just a piece of the stamp. You don't have to use it all. So I just like this circle with this on it, so I'm going to put it here. And the fun with art journaling is this. You can just have fun. There's no right way, wrong way, colors. You just, just have fun and enjoy yourself. This is cool. We like that. Let's see how much of a mess we can make up here. And you're probably wondering why I'm not stamping at the top. Well, that's where our really cool technique is going to come in. Oh, we're going to get dirty. Oh, yeah. We'll put some down here. I'm trying my... My book is only so big and I can only get my camera going so high. And so my problem is <laughs> showing you guys the whole page. So some over here. I really like that. And what else? Something else. We need something in the middle. Let's grab these numbers. The only thing I don't like about rubber stamps is you can't see where they're going or if you're crooked or even or can't really tell. But in art journaling, it just really doesn't matter. Okay, look at this. This is some kind of fun. You can tell I love stamping, hey? Stamping is fun for me. I'm gonna grab this just little one and add just some texture in some different places here. Yep, this is fun. See, you drop it and you go, well, I guess it stays there then, right? I need something else for right in here, so maybe I'll just grab these numbers. We'll turn this into a whole numbers thing. Okay, right there, I guess, because I dropped the stamp again. And maybe some right there, and just a little chunk there. Looking cool, hey? We can put some up here. I don't know what'll happen if we'll see what's going on with the technique. But why not? Because if it does work, I've never tried this before, so I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. But let's add some more stamping up there just to try because 
We don't know. Our technique might cover it all up or it might not. So we'll put that there. Put some more circles in here because we love these circles. You're thinking I'm crazy. I know you're thinking she's completely nuts, right? But we have fun in the studio. I love to do the journals, but I also love to just get messy. Okay, we got a lot going on here. So I'm just gonna push all my stamps to the side and sort those out later. So we have a whole bunch of stamping going on. All right, next step. This is kind of cool. Let's put the ink away before that lands up on my foot. I'm going to take, um, I have this 12 by 12 template. It's all just these mini circles from Crafters Workshop. I'm not sure if it's still available, but for this technique, use any stencil you want. It's uh, called Microvial. So what I'm gonna do is come to the top and I'm gonna grab my jar of modeling paste. It's Liquitex, I just got it at Michael's and a little palette knife. I have some from when I worked at Bow Bunny. I have a brand new pack of palette knives. So just gonna grab some texture paste on my spatula and just start putting dots. I'm just gonna go in different random places, some farther down, some not so far, and wait till you see what's gonna happen. I tell you, it's gonna be fun. So let's move that over, we'll put some over here. And you really do wanna let this texture paste dry, because that's part of the technique. And you can put as much paste or as little paste as you like. Put some more up here. This is cool. So what we have is a whole bunch of dots over top of our stamping. Very, very cool. I'm telling you, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna put some more dots up at the top here. Use up my smushy stuff. All right, now we need to let this dry. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come back and show you where we go from here. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back. We've got a nice hard surface going with our modeling paste. The stencil has been cleaned. You wanna really clean your stuff when you're using modeling paste because it dries and it dries hard. So now we're gonna have some spray fun, but doing it a little different. So gonna grab some Dilutions. This is bubblegum pink. I'm gonna open it up. What, what am I doing? And I'm going to put some here at the top of the page. I know it's crazy what I'm doing. We may need to add some more, but we're going to dibble and dabble. I put a craft sheet under there because sometimes things happen. Some, what is this, pure tangerine or pure sunshine, sorry. I know, this doesn't look like much, right? I'm afraid to like pour it because, oh my gosh, if I poured it, can you imagine what would happen to it? It would be everywhere. So mixing up some color. I wonder if I could use like a, I don't know, uh, I'll put some more pink on here. Use um, Q-tip or, something to get this flowing a little faster. Okay, we got that. Some purple. Let's get that rolling. Seems to come out kinda slow at first, and then it gets going. 
Oh yeah, this is, we are going to have some serious fun here today. Some orange. I'll leave um, links for all this goodness under the video in the description. Ryan is so lovely to add all my links in for me. He's such a, such a doll. I give him the video and then he does the rest. I like to shoot the videos. I don't like to have to find all that other stuff. So that's why he takes care of all that good stuff for me. He's so wonderful. And Nikki helping with the journals. It's become a real family event over here. Now we just got to get hubs involved, ladies. What should we do for hubs? I don't know. We'll have to think of something. Okay, I still think I need more pink. I know this is quite the process, hey? Okay, so now we've got all the sprays on. Now you're going to take your water bottle. So we've got them all sitting at the top. I'm going to take our water bottle and see what happens. The more water we add, the more goodness that's going to happen to our page. Now you can grab some paper towel if you want and go, oh, I don't want so many drips and, and dabs there. Maybe you do want some more. You can also go in now that we've kind of got it started and we'll spray some pink in and we'll spray some more purple maybe make sure you tighten up your bottles and we'll put in some of the blue i keep going the opposite way and a squish of orange maybe So I just wanted to show you how you can do it that way. You can also, like I said, spray. Depends how much or how little you want. Then you can take some more water. Let's really get that activated. And let it drain. And as it drains, it'll puddle and it'll make new colors. And like I said, if you don't like all the drips, just grab a paper towel. And then you can take off some of the color and leave some of it. Some of it, yes, gets muddy. And then I'm going to go in with my paper towel and go over the modeling paste and get some of the color off of that so I can see a little bit of the white modeling paste. So is that not cool? And then you can continue. You can see the stamping through the spray. It's that light. Or you can just leave it or spray more. I did a little bit of modeling paste down here. So I'm going to grab my favorite color. Some pink. And maybe some of the yellow. And put that in here. And then add some water. I told you this is going to be a messy craft today and this way I'm going to go this way with my yellow and pink and let it crawl down the page a bit and see where it ends up. This is the fun part is just letting it do all this kind of fun crazy stuff and let it move and let it play and then again you can dab if you want with your paper towel take some or all of the color off, get that modeling paste showing through, and voila, we have this really cool kind of rainbow. I'm going to dry it up because I uh, want to add a saying to it. So I just think this is so cool, as I dry down here I'll show you, that you get this like amazing texture through it, and then this amazing color all with spray I think this is such a fun page and you can continue to spray if you want I'm gonna leave some of it um, just like that because I think it's kind of cool so the other thing I'm gonna do with this that'll dry on its own is remember these the freebie from the grace journal I had these and I printed them out and then they were on my desk one minute and the next minute they were gone. So I say to my husband, 
I go, I lost them. I've checked everywhere. So he came upstairs one day to vacuum my studio and he finds this sheet under my couch. So now I have a whole nother sheet, but I thought, you know what's really cool? Is to use this in the art journal. It's on clear sticker paper. And this was a freebie in our group for our Grace Challenge. And um, now these will be in the shop. So it's just on sticker paper. I'm just gonna peel it off. It's on clear paper. And I'm just gonna put it right on my page. So it just blends into the background. It blends in. You can use more of them. You can use less of them. I might do some of the, um, Oh, might as well just, I love these hashtags. I love the hashtag words and they're so fun. I'm just having a good old time today playing in the studio. I always get in trouble up here. I start spraying and painting and just having fun. And today I've done a journal page and I've done this and oh, I'm just having a good old time. So here's Grateful. I do love the Avery paper that it, uh, has that maybe I'll just stick that right here and it'll blend into the background and pick up that color there we go so this is kind of cool I may add a few more words and uh, just have fun sit back relax have fun you know there's just what I love about it is total creative freedom just do what you like. What's your favorite color? Just play with your favorite color. I don't use a lot of blues, but I'm starting to love blue and turquoise. So this is good fun. All right, one more. I just have to. I just have to. I'm so excited when you guys join me. And I've got to say, just a shout out to our group Praise and Pray. Like... You guys are just so amazing and encouraging and we have no drama in our group and everybody is so lovely and I enjoy going there first thing in the morning with my coffee to check out what everybody's been doing and posting and so fun so there we go another way to use the stickers or you can use any of the elements in your journal so thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the technique. If your desk looks as messy as mine does at the end, it's called success. So everybody have an awesome day, and I will see you next week on Technique Thursday. Bye-bye.